my video. On Tuesday, November 22nd, the History Channel has a new show premiering after the Curse of Oak Island, and the new show is called Bermuda Triangle into Cursed Waters. So there's a team of five people, and they're going to be trying to locate and also solve mysteries that are in the Bermuda Triangle. The five torpedo bombers that were lost during World War II, and then the search plane, they're going to try and find those planes and try and figure out what actually happened. While they were filming this season, a little bit outside of the Bermuda Triangle, they found something pretty historic and a very emotional find. They found a piece of Challenger, like a 20-foot section of debris from the Challenger explosion. And so they're going to show that in this season, so that'll be interesting. The cast of this show is Mike Barnett, David O'Keefe, Wayne Abbott, Jason Harris, and Jimmy Godomski. That's the cast. Mike Barnett is a true explorer with a passion for the unknown. He's driven to see the bottom of every sinkhole and shine a light on every unexplored wreck. He's obsessed with the Bermuda Triangle and wants to know what's really going on out there. For over two decades, he's been gathering GPS coordinates for unexplored underwater wrecks. Not every X on his secret map will pay off, but he fully expects to hit a few jackpots with headline-grabbing original discoveries. David O'Keefe comes to the table with a deep passion for history and dogged determination to find answers. These qualities stem directly from O'Keefe's military background as an infantryman in Canada's most famed regiment, Black Watch. Today, he's official historian for the Canadian Navy and a professor of history at Marianapolis College. Wayne Abbott has been researching mysterious phenomena and disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle for years. Enthralled by the Triangle's mystique since childhood, Abbott is now an authority on the lore and legends surrounding this devilish stretch of ocean. Jason Harris is a decorated Air Force pilot with thousands of hours of combat flight experience. Now retired, he remains active in the reserves and is a professional accident investigator. His ability to read an airplane crash site will be critical to solving the many cases of doomed aircraft that lurk on the seafloor or the Bermuda Triangle. Jimmy Gadamaski has encountered few situations that face him. An experienced explorer, treasure hunter, and technical diver who routinely goes to extreme depths of up to 500 feet below the surface. Gadamaski will be Barnett's right-hand man on the most challenging dives. About the show, the Bermuda Triangle is the most notorious stretch of ocean in history, evoking fear and endless fascination, bound by Florida, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. These waters have swallowed countless ships and planes and their crews, some vanishing without a trace. In 1945, five U.S. Navy planes disappeared on the same night, along with a search and rescue plane, dispatched to find them. No wreckage has ever been found. Reporters dug up accounts of other missing planes and ships and stories of strange phenomena date back to the voyages of Columbus. Now an elite team is investigating the Bermuda Triangle with the aid of a secret weapon. A map, decades in the making, marking the location of unidentified undersea wrecks and anomalies. Each week they will identify one mystery wreck. Along the way, evaluating the evidence behind the legends and scientific theories like rogue waves, giant methane bubbles, ship sucking whirlpools, and dead zones that bewilder equipment and airplanes in airplanes. In the Bermuda Triangle, one never knows what one will find. On the ocean floor, the team makes a historic and important discovery that go beyond the myth and conjecture. That's what this show is going to be about. Episodes. Right now it only lists three episodes, but I've heard there's about six episodes in its first season. So we'll see how this season does when it premieres on Tuesday and throughout its course this season. Episode 1. A Big Find. An elite team investigates mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle aided by a secret map decades in the making. In this episode, they attempt to unravel the mystery of why 27 U.S. aviators and crew vanished without a trace on the same night in 1945. 
While searching for the wrecks of the lost planes, they uncover a debris field unlike any they have ever seen and one with historic implications. Episode 2, Rogue Waves. The team dives deep looking for the biggest vessel to ever vanish in the Bermuda Triangle, a massive ship with a monstrous name, the USS Cyclops. Was the USS Cyclops the victim of a terrifying ship sinking phenomenon known as a rogue wave? While searching the deep waters, they uncover harrowing stories of other rogue waves prowling the seas and make a discovery that solves a century-old mystery. Episode 3, Holes in the Ocean. The team searches for the remains of an entire pirate fleet of ships that vanish suddenly in the Bermuda Triangle. As if swallowed by the ocean, could a geological anomaly be the source of these ships sucking whirlpools? Their investigation takes them to the little bottom of a fabled and potentially deadly mid-ocean sinkhole. But what they find waiting in the depths may prove beyond any mystery. So, that's about what the show's gonna be. And then there's a article here about them also finding the piece of wreckage from the Challenger. History Channel discovers segment of Space Shuttle Challenger. The 20-foot piece of the NASA space shuttle was found off the coast of Florida during the filming of the new History Channel series, The Bermuda Triangle into Cursed Waters. In a stunning discovery, a 20-foot segment of the 1986 Space Shuttle Challenger was found off the coast of Florida during the filming of the new History Channel series, The Bermuda Triangle into Cursed Waters. The find marks the first major discovery of wreckage from the Challenger shuttle in more than 25 years. The historic and emotional discovery of this Challenger artifact by our incredible team reinforces the History Channel's mission to preserve important sites and stories from our national heritage, says Eli Leher, the network's executive vice president and head of programming. Our goal for creating this series was to give a name to some of the thousands of wreck sites that call the Bermuda Triangle home and in turn share their stories, historical significance, and even provide answers as to how they came to be here. On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, carrying school teacher Krista McAlufi, who was on her way to becoming the first ordinary U.S. civilian to travel into space. 73 seconds later, as hundreds watched from the ground, including McAlufi's family, the shuttle broke up, into a forking plume of smoke and fire. Millions more watched the wrenching tragedy unfold on live television. There were no survivors. The recovery of a major piece of the Challenger wreckage marks an emotional chapter for the NASA program. The Challenger's crew's families and the nation. But the discovery was not anticipated. The team had been searching for wreckage of a World War II era aircraft and they came across the Challenger segment. While the remarkable discovery of the wreckage from Challenger was not part of our diving team's initial mission, exploring the Bermuda Triangle, the find's historical significance cannot be understated. The Challenger is a vital part of our nation's history, and we are honored to bring this important find to light. NASA's leaders viewed footage of history's underwater dive off the east coast of Florida and confirmed it revealed an artifact from the Space Shuttle Challenger. While it has been nearly 37 years since seven daring and brave explorers lost their lives aboard Challenger, this tragedy will forever be seared into the collective memory of our country. Four millions around the globe, myself included, Jan 28, 1986, still feels like yesterday, said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson in a statement. This discovery gives us an opportunity to pause once again to uplift the legacies of seven pioneers we lost, and to reflect on how this tragedy changed us. Produced for the History Channel by Lone Wolf Media, the full exploration, including expert commentary from Mike Cianelli, NASA's Office of Safety and Mission Assurance, will be chronicled as part of the new six-part series, premiering on Tuesday, November 22nd at 10 p.m. Eastern Time slash Pacific Time on the History Channel. Underwater explorer and marine biologist Mike Barnett, who led the team that made the discovery, says his crew was quickly aware they were stumbling upon a unique find. The significance of this large section of Challenger's structure was readily apparent, says Barnett. 
We recognized the necessity to bring this find to the immediate attention of NASA. The site, which is outside of the Bermuda Triangle off the coast of Florida, marks the loss of seven brave astronauts, fellow explorers, and the Challenger disaster was a tragic setback for America's space program. But from this horrific event, important lessons were learned that have ultimately led to remarkable advances in space exploration. Across six episodes, the Bermuda Triangle and Cursed Waters follows an elite team of underwater detectives anchored by Barnett, who has discovered over 50 shipwrecks, including the SS Catapaxi investigators Wayne Abbott and David O'Keefe, U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Jason Harris, an authority on aeronautical crashes, and wreck diver Jimmy Gadamaski. The series follows the team as they attempt to identify wrecks found within the Bermuda Triangle, a hotbed for unexplained disappearances dating back hundreds of years. In early March 2022, the first embarked on a series of scout dives to investigate several suspected wreck targets off the coast of Florida, with one of those targets being outside of the Bermuda Triangle offshore from Cape Canaveral. The team was initially looking for the wreck of a PBM Martin Mariner rescue plane that disappeared without a trace on December 5, 1945, while searching for the five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers on a mission code named Flight 19. That had also disappeared earlier that day. Instead of World War II era plane debris, the team discovered upon modern looking aviation structure. After consulting with an outside expert and completing a secondary dive in May 2022, the team presented the full evidence to retired American astronaut Bruce Melnick, who suspected it was a piece of the Challenger space shuttle. Based on this information, producers brought the discovery to the attention of NASA, and in August 22, Mike Cinelli confirmed this was a significant remnant of Challenger. Viewers will get, will get a first-hand look from the very first dive to the team's meeting at NASA to see how this rare and important discovery unfolded. In addition to the Challenger wreckage, viewers can expect to watch the team uncover several of their ships and plane wrecks this season, helping to bring closure and answers to decades-old disappearances. The Bermuda Triangle Under Cursed Waters is produced by the History Channel by Lone Wolf Media. Kirk Wolfinger, Joseph Sousa, and Adam Costa serve as executive producers for Lone Wolf Media. Eli Leher, Amy Savitsky, and Mike Stiller serve as executive producers for the History Channel. So that is an explanation of what this season is going to be about and some of the historic finds that they will discover during this season. I will include the links to these websites that I read off of so you guys can read the articles for yourselves. I basically just read them. During this season, I may film video reviews about them or talk about the episodes, so possibly stay tuned for those. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and don't forget to hit the bell icon down below so you can be notified when I upload videos. Also, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you guys for watching, and if you ain't dreaming, you ain't living. Don't forget to dream big.